What is it that moves your heart? In Luke 6.38, it says, Give, and it will be given to you. You know, when we begin to follow Jesus Christ, He shapes a new heart for us. Just as God promised for Israel, I will give you a new heart and a new spirit I will put within you, and I will remove the heart of stone from your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. You can read more about that in Ezekiel 36, 26 and Ephesians 4, 17 through 24. And going back to these new hearts, they move more like God's heart. They're not, however, all shaped alike. They still reflect our God-created and God-anointed individuality. But notice, when you view tough situations, sometimes your heart is moved and sometimes very deeply. And notice also that sometimes it's not. You see, we're all created for good works, as we read in Ephesians 2.10. But as individuals, we aren't created for every work. We couldn't possibly be. We're all called to help those in need. But as individuals, we aren't called to every need. Somewhere near his death, St. Francis of Assisi prayed for his fellow friars like this. I've done what is mine to do. May Christ teach you what is yours. And once again, going back to our new hearts, the movements of those new hearts are one way that God teaches us what is ours. For our hearts are made to notice, to care, to move more for certain people and certain needs. And when their needs are met, our hearts are satisfied. And when they aren't, our hearts hurt with their hearts. So here's the good part. When we become aware of the movements of our new hearts, these new hearts that God has shaped within us, and we begin working ourselves to meet the needs of people who are ours to help, we increase not only their joy, but ours as well. So what do you do with that today? Well, for me, I know I need to continue to bend my focus away from myself and to take some time to consider this new heart. And maybe both you and I today can begin to identify the particular people and the particular needs for which our heart moves. If you want to hear this short message again, or maybe share it with a friend, visit Christian1057.com where you'll find a podcast and much more. And if you're already a podcast listener, just search for Daily Grind Devotions wherever you listen to podcasts.